All right, this is going to be a quick video on how to diagnose a bad outdoor fan motor. Customers complaining that when the unit comes on, the fan motor doesn't run. So, first thing you want to do while the unit's off, obviously, disconnects out, is check your run capacitor. Make sure that's reading what the manufacturer's rated it for. This one's a 5, um, which I've already checked. It's a 5 doing 5. Next, what you want to do is uh, turn the unit on and see if the motor is drawing any amps. Alright, so the unit's up and running now. Obviously, no fan motor running. Compressor is running. And we'll check the amp draw. Amp draw is 1.9. This motor is rated for 1.1, so it's over amping. Next thing you want to do is take your multimeter. I already have one side hooked up to the uh, fan relay on the control board. And then you want to put your other lead on run. You can see what amp draw. I have 245 amps, which is plenty to run this motor. And the motor is not running. So the motor has proper voltage. The capacitor is good. The motor is drawing amps, which it's over amping, and not spinning, which would tell me that the outdoor fan motor is. Alright, new motor's in. One thing I had to do is change the capacitor. Um, not because this one was bad, but because this one was a 5 microfarad capacitor. The new motor, even though it's an OEM motor, this one requires a 7.5 capacitor, so be aware of what size capacitor your new motor needs. Um, so I strapped in a new 7.5 cap. As far as wiring it up, the purple wire right here actually went to the fan terminal on the uh, old dual run capacitor up here. Um, so what you do is plug that into one side of the capacitor. Then there's another terminal on the dual capacitor um, which is labeled C. Um, which is actually R power, if you trace it back, it goes down to red on the contactor. It's just labeled C because it's a common terminal for this capacitor. Um, what you do is you take another piece of wire, which is right here, connect onto the C terminal on the dual capacitor, and run it down to the other side of your fan cap. And um, some motors that you replace, if it's not an OEM motor, or maybe even some OEM motors, will actually have two brown wires coming off of the motor um, for the capacitor. One goes on each side. It's Everything else is internally done on the motor, so it would just be one brown on one. Most of the time it has a brown wire with a white stripe going the other side. Um, also, when you're putting the capacitors in, strap them up. Don't let them dangle around. So you can see the wires are kind of all everywhere, so I'm going to throw a couple zip ties on there. Alright, everything's zip tied up, secure, only takes a couple seconds, it looks so much nicer, more organized, and uh, yeah, we're ready to uh, fire her up. And we have lift off. Now what you want to do is check the amp draw, make sure this motor is within its rated amps. And uh, normally once I change any parts, I'll throw the gauges on, check the prion charge, take some temperatures. Because once I leave, I don't want to come back unless it's for some sort of maintenance inspection. But that's how you diagnose an outdoor fan motor.